In this part I'm just going to show you a, a basic turntable um, animation. Right, we'll, um, we'll just start up with our environment. Um, I've actually um, I've not put the daylight one into this one. I've um, actually used a gradient. A simple black and white one. And I've just, um, all I've done is just bump up the power a bit to brighten him up. Now what you want to do with this is in your, I think this is what they call the graph editor, but I'm scene editor, sorry. You select that and go up into scripts and click on turntable animation. Whoops. Rightio, now why that didn't work is because there's no render target and it needs a render target for it to work. To get that, you just right click in the scene editor and click on render target. Okay, so what you need to do is grab your swampy object it'll be only one that can match up to it and what you'll need to do is rightio because you've opened up the render ta target you also need to change the the resolution to whatever's going to um, suit you for this one okay so I'll go back to my HDR again HD you're sorry right you also need to change your environments see how it's gone back to RGB color again We'll go back to our gradient and we'll put up our power a bit. Right, now with the render target um, selected, we'll go to our script, turntable animation. Now it's pretty simple to work out. It's um, this is the degrees um, that you want it, 360, start at zero, finish there. Um, target, well, whatever's in the scene at the time, that'll be, that's fine. Um, your duration, that's up to you. I will say we want uh, five seconds. Oops. five seconds um, you can also I think um, yeah that'll um, basically that just times your frame rate by um, and that'll add up to 125 and again I'm afraid you're stuck with the, the PNG files and you will just you know, put in frame, basically. And so what that'll do is um, when you're ready to go, you just hit the render button and that'll render him turning around. I'll just, um, I'll just show you a little demo of what, what it looks like. And then we'll um, start the... Uh, um, the next one which will involve um, uh, an export animation from Daz Studio. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, now after you've rendered the animations you've got all your um, You've got all your pile of PNG files. You need to put them together into an anime, um, into an animation. 
I found a great little util utility called um, Make AVI, and I'll, I'll put in a, a link to it in the description. And all you do in this is basically, oops, sorry, you just add your. You just add all your, um, your your still images. So you just click on your first one. Hold your shift key down. This is one was one from a previous one that I did. And that will just. Um, Add them all in there. Should order them by the number. Uh, we did it in a 24 per frame, and what you then all you do is just uh, hit begin. You type in your your file name. You choose a, a format. Hit OK, and basically, that's all there is to it. And it'll um, it'll just save out the animations from the uh, frames you've rendered out in Octane Render.